Welcome to Audit Archive, where we run you through some of the most questionable and rather atrocious police encounters. Today, we're looking at a case where police officers made fun of a disabled man trying to check out a target and then subsequently dragged him out of the store to place him under arrest for taking too long. On August 19th, 2022, the Albuquerque Police Department dispatchers received a 911 call from a local Target store in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The caller, an unidentified Target employee, ridiculously complained that there was a customer in line for self-checkout who was taking way too long. They claimed that the individual had been standing at a counter for several minutes, not appearing to make any progress. Following this, multiple officers out on duty nearby arrived at the Target store and quickly located a man who matched the given description. The officers initially stood by and watched the man try to check out. Body cam footage even captured them apparently laughing at him. All I gotta have is just permission that you guys want to stop. Hi, sir. I'll take please. Go ahead and grab all your money. Let's walk out, okay? Go ahead, stop. Stop. You're done. I'll take your police. You're detained. You're not free to leave. Put your money down. You're coming with us, okay? I just, I just, just put your money down, okay? I had You're coming a, with us, okay? I had We're it not here tied up. So gotcha. It took me a while. Pick your money up. You're coming with us now, okay? It just took me a little while. Gotcha. You took too long. Go ahead and pick your money up. Yeah, I'm take sorry. Take your money up. You're coming. You want to walk us to walk you out, or you want to walk yourself out? Go ahead and put your money up, man. I don't lose it. I got all the money out there. You have to go. I okay. just was getting so my money. So go ahead and grab your money, sir. We'll be walking out, okay? I just, can I please just okay. take So we're going to grab the money for you, okay? Can I please, I got all the we're money. We're leaving, okay? Yeah. And you're going to be identified, okay? And you're going to be issued a criminal trespass that says you can't come back to this business anymore, okay? The officer who made initial contact with a disabled subject was Officer Kenneth Skeens, and he remained the one in charge of this so-called investigation throughout the encounter. As seen in the body cam footage, Officer Skeens approached the man in an authoritative demeanor right off the bat. There was no opportunity given to the man for an explanation whatsoever. And it goes without saying that hearing both sides of a story is crucial in any investigation, but this element was neglected here. Officer Skeens made it clear that the man was officially detained at that point and ordered him to get out of the store, adding that he would be receiving a trespass notice, barring him from ever coming back. Let's switch to a second officer's body cam, which gives us a better angle of what happened next. Go ahead and put your money on it. I'm going to go just like okay? You're coming with us, okay? You're not going to go. You're coming with us now, okay? Go ahead and grab your money, sir. We'll be walking out, okay? Go ahead and pick your money up. So we're going to pick your money up. You're coming with us, you're going to walk us to walk you out. We're leaving, okay? You're going to pick your money up. You're going to pick your money up. The man, who was visibly confused and startled by the confrontation, claimed that he had done nothing wrong and was simply taking out his money to pay for the bike that he wanted to purchase from the store. 
Despite his attempts to de-escalate the situation, Officer Skeens grabbed him by his arm and forcefully dragged him out of the store. This is an appropriate time to discuss whether the man was lawfully detained or not. In Terry v. Ohio, the U.S. Supreme Court held that, under the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution, a police officer may stop a suspect and frisk him or her without probable cause to arrest if the police officer has a reasonable suspicion that the person has committed, is committing, or is about to commit a crime and has a reasonable belief that the person may be armed and presently dangerous. Taking this into account, it can be argued that Officer Skeens did not have any reasonable suspicion to detain the man since the 911 caller did not mention any crime that was committed, nor did the officers witness anything alarming. So we can conclude that this was an unlawful detainment that was violating the man's constitutional rights. Moving on with the footage, Officer Skeens' disdain towards the innocent man became obvious when he demanded the man's ID and then immediately stated that he was under arrest for failing to identify himself. Also, it appeared that the man was not even aware of the fact that he was being detained by official law enforcement, so he ended up calling 911 himself to report the injustice against him. You're not police. Yes, we are. Yes, we're we're no, you're not. You're security. Oh, you your pen pen. Yeah, I do. Okay. So what's your name, man? No, you're business. All right, then you're under arrest. Go ahead, put your hands behind your back. You're refusing to identify yourself, correct? Who are you calling, man? You ain't even. You ain't He's calling call, 911. That's what he said anyway. Say, just go ahead and put him in handcuffs because he's refusing to identify himself. Okay, hold on. Uh, I was just paying, I was just having my ahead, stuff Brian, locked in, in my family pack, uh, and, and the security cars came, and I, I didn't take more time than anyone else. The other one before me. Put your phone down. Now it's important to discuss if the man was legally obligated to provide officer schemes with his ID. Under New Mexico's color of law, when you're officially detained and an officer then demands ID, you must provide that information. Not carrying ID or not having ID is not a crime in New Mexico, and the police should not take you to the precinct against your will to verify your identity if you don't show or have ID unless they have probable cause that you've committed a crime. However, at this point, Officer Skeens had nothing to justify his demand for ID no reasonable suspicion and no probable cause. In fact, as we've already highlighted, this was essentially an unlawful detainment, so none of these statutes apply regardless. Next, watch as Officer Skeen snatched the man's phone from his hand and then physically restrained him with the help of his fellow officers before pushing the man to the ground and placing him in handcuffs. Throughout this ordeal, the man remained confused and clearly disappointed at what was happening to him. My name is Matthew McManus. Hey! No! They took my phone! Help! Yes, we told you that already. I didn't see your badge. 
Okay. Well, we told you, right? You we what? all have badges. It's yeah. not our fault you didn't look at <laughs> Officer Skeens have now made it clear that the man was under arrest and being charged with concealing identity and resisting an officer. Plus, he once again added that the man would be issued a trespass notice, even though none of the target employees raised an interest in doing that. They allegedly only wanted him to leave for the night, just because he was apparently taking too long. According to New Mexico Statute Section 30-22-3, it stated that, Concealing identity consists of concealing one's true name or identity, or disguising oneself with intent to obstruct the due execution of the law, or with intent to intimidate, hinder, or interrupt any public officer or any other person in a legal performance of his duty or the exercise of his rights under the law of the United States or of this state. Taking this into account, had the man been lawfully detained, it could indeed be a justified charge against him. But as we know, that was not the case here. The same applies to resisting, as per section 30-22-1, which states that, Resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer consists of knowingly obstructing, resisting, or opposing any officer of this state, or any other duly authorized person serving or attempting to serve, or execute any process, or any rule or order of any of the courts of this state, or any other judicial writ or process. Again, the man certainly did not justifiably fall under this charge due to the unlawful nature of the arrest. Okay, well, we told you, right? You we all have badges? It's yeah. not our fault you didn't look, man. Uh, the, 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 we security guards say they're no. police officers. We identified the ourselves as Albuquerque so, police. We let's go ahead and get them uh, stood up and search. The reason to talk to you was they didn't want you in there no, uh, no more, okay? So we have the reason. We asked you your name. You didn't give us your name. That's what was the reason? They didn't want you there, and they have that right as the business not to want you there anymore. Okay? So what you need to do, we're going to help you stand up, we're going to put you in that patrol unit over there, okay? Sound good? No, it don't sound well, good. Well, that's what's going to happen. Hey, go, 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 go. I didn't then. do nothing. Yes. Come on, stand up. stand up, man. Take a step for me and stand up. No, because, because, because I didn't do nothing. Nine one one, help me, please. No one's on the phone, man. I think there are police officers right there. No, they, they, I, they, 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 I didn't see their red. I didn't know there were police officers. Well, everything's on camera, just so you know. Everything is being recorded by our on-body recording devices, okay? So it's going to show that we identified ourselves as Albuquerque police. We told you that why they didn't want you in there anymore. You became very... Uh, resistant in the store and out no, here. No, I didn't. We asked I your didn't name. When, when you, you, okay, when sir. You, well, you know what? I'm done explaining. You, no, you, I'm you done have, explaining to you. you have, no, that's fine. Me, I, I, I'm done explaining to you. That's fine. Understand. You're under arrest. Following this, Officer Skeens proceeded to search the man and went as far as to damage his personal property. Watch as the officers decide to literally cut the man's fanny pack off just because they failed to remove it from him otherwise. I, because I didn't think you were. No, they, 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 my bag is even more. They gotta come off, man. You can't take them to jail with you. Did they come off at all? Uh, uh probably in the back. They're tight. I didn't do anything. You got a knife? I, I have a knife. No, you, you, I, I, you, you better not take them. We're gonna have to get him standing up, though. I'm not gonna put Can you stand up, man? Are you gonna work with us at all? Yeah. Cause we gotta stand you up. You're under arrest, okay? That's not changing now. Well, who what? Concealing identity, resisting officers, okay? I didn't know you were police officers. I, I told I you. That's your own fault. You didn't listen, okay? I can't help you with that. You don't want to listen. But I, I didn't believe you were police officers. Stand up. You didn't believe us? You look like security okay, guards. Go over here. Don't no. resist anymore. Stop. Just walk, man. No. Just walk. No. Just walk. We gotta search you, okay? Uh, you got anything on you that's gonna poke no. his pick because of her? Yeah, I got a couple of knives. You got a couple of knives on you? Yeah, you got any needles? Three? No. Uh, I didn't do nothing. I was just about to pay my, 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 my money in the, in the, in the, in the automated system. I was putting my money in and you came into it. And you, 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 you,
don't even identify you. Oh, then you said right you, right you, you said you, later you, you said you were All right, sir. Suffer, sir. Don't make movements. Just hold on Yeah, get those bags off you, man, okay? I can take them off. I don't know when I can take them off. No, you, you're damaging my property. That's fine, man. Like I said, we can't get them off of you. We have to cut them off. I can get them off myself. Just, just let me. This one's right here. Just okay. let me take it off myself. Does it come off? Okay. Just let me take it off myself, will you please? Will you let me take it off myself? Will you let me take it off myself? We're going to get it off. Calm so down. tied. Sir, I got it. I, I, I won't take it off myself. No, we're not letting you take them off, man. Once handcuffs come on, you're going to try to run, and then we're going to, you know, it's going to be worse. No, I'll take it off with handcuffs. There you go. <laughs> no, I'm giving you, you my money, my money, money, my private property. Well, yeah. So, yeah. let me ask you this. You know we're cops now, right? Do you want to identify yourself? Yeah. Hang okay, on one second. Do you have an ID anywhere? Where's your ID at? Yes. What's your name? Tell me your name. You gonna separate from me anything, man? Not till I get a lawyer. Well, that sucks to suck, man. I don't have to say anything. Well, you have to identify yourself still. No, no, I, I have the right to remain silent. Not when it comes to your name. No, no, that's that, that's. You do, but that's lot. why now you're going to jail for concealing identity. Yeah, he's good. I didn't right. do anything. Step in, man. Go ahead and That's fine. Go ahead and take a seat, Mr. Vehicle. Pick up, pick up my, my, my papers. Yeah, right? we will take them out, man. Go ahead and take a seat. Okay. Vehicle. Pick them up. Put your feet in. Don't catch a felony charge by hitting me or anything. Step in. But I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. All I do is doing it with paying for my things. Yeah, and, that's, it was and you, explained to me. And you had to cut off more of my fanny packs, you know. It was so hard it is to get my money out. And I was trying to get my money out and I got it all out. And then, then you came and I thought you were a security guard. The man now identified as Matthew, was taken to jail, where he was processed and booked for the two charges. Soon after, the Albuquerque Police Department released the body cam footage, which was almost a year after the incident. Officer Skeen's actions were criticized by the public, and it was then reported that the Albuquerque Police Department had fired Officer Skeen's in February 2023, stating that there was no reason for the arrest, which led to the use of force. Plus, the charges against the man were also dropped after he was deemed incompetent. Then, on July 13, 2023, Attorney General Raul Torres released a press statement stating that, Today, my office filed charges against former APD officer Kenneth Skeens for his role in the unlawful arrest of a customer with disabilities who was struggling to complete his purchase at a Target located in Albuquerque in August of 2022. Rather than acting as a professional public servant and a guardian of vulnerable members of this community, Mr. Skeens engaged in abusive and unlawful behavior that undermined public safety and violated his oath as a peace officer in the state of New Mexico. As of the date of this recording, Officer Skeens faces charges of false imprisonment, filing a false police report, perjury, and battery. A court date is yet to be announced. Be sure to check out our previous video where we cover another outrageous police encounter.